Hey guys, I'm Dania here. So for today's video, I am going to do something that I haven't done in a long time, and that is doing a bookshelf tour. I don't know what that is. Anyways, I haven't done one in a while, and I actually, right before I filmed this, rearranged my entire bookshelf, and I'm really happy with the way it looks. So I kind of want to share that with you guys. Um, and yes, I'm wearing a tie-dye shirt, okay? My brother made it and he gave it to me, so it's a pajama shirt. I'm wearing pajamas right now. Can I get my leg up this high? Whew, oh, kind of ish, not really. Those are my pajama pants. Anyways, so I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour. Um, I don't even know how many books I have, but let's do this. I don't know, this is just rambling. Anyway, so I'm going to take you around my bookshelf tour. I'm going to say the name of the book and the author. And. I'm not going to tell you a little bit about the book because that would take forever. And I'm just going to go shelf by shelf. And yeah. For those of you who don't know, which you wouldn't know because I haven't told you yet. Um, I actually organize my bookshelf alphabetically by author's last name, as you would see in a bookstore. Uh, I don't know. Keeps it organized. I can find anything that I want. Um, so it's all categories. There are some that are out of place alphabetically, and that's just so that they fit better and so that I utilize the space. But anyways, without further ado, here is my bookshelf tour of 2015. I guess maybe I'll do one every year. Who knows? Anyways, here it is. I'm gonna press the button now, I swear. Alright, so first off, just a little overview right here uh guarding my bookshelf we have fred from big hero 6 and dancing baby groot from gardens of the galaxy and he is actually a bobblehead but i'm just gonna move them out of the way for now so i can go over my bookshelf okay so on the first shelf starting here we have flowers in the attic petals on the wind and a bind up of If There Be Thorns and Seeds of Yesterday by V.C. Andrews. Uh, I love these ones. I've only read these two. I haven't read this bind up yet, but I'm getting to it. Oh, by the way, uh, you might notice that there are a lot of books on my bookshelf that I have yet to read, but I will get there, I promise. Uh, after V.C. Andrews, we have Avalon by... Someone or Net. Mindy. Minda? Mindy. Mindy or Net, I think. Hopefully, I'll put, if that's wrong, I'll put it somewhere on the bottom. Uh, next, we have Anna Dressed in Blood by uh, Kinder Blake. I have read this one. I haven't read Avalon yet, but soon, soon. Um, next, we have Taken by Aaron Bowman. I haven't read that one, but I heard it's really good. Uh, then we have Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and over here we have Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Obviously, I've read all of them. Uh, this, then we have The Here and Now by Anne Brashers. haven't read this one yet. I've actually had this one for a long time, but we'll get to it soon, hopefully. And here we have The Perks of Being a Wallflower by... Stephen Jaboski? I can never say his name, I'm sorry. Over here, we have The Demon King, The Exiled Queen, The Grey Wolf Throne, and The Crimson Crown by Cinda Williams Chima. I have read The Demon King. I am, have not finished The Exiled Queen, but I started it and I haven't read these two yet. Nah. Uh, over here, we have The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, The Death Cure, The Kill Order, The Eye of Minds, and The Rule of Thoughts by James Dashner. I have read all of these, and I'm waiting for the third book in this, and the prequel to the prequel by James Dashner. I'm so excited. Oh, I love this series. So good. Uh, then we have I Hate My Selfie and Loud Cars. I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson, which 
I have read. My review on that is up and I love it. It's so good. Uh, then here we have Angel Fall and World After by Susan E. And as you can see, I'm just about to start reading World After. Got my little bookmark in it already. And up here we have Scan by, and this is by two different authors, so I want to make sure I get them. Scan by Walter Jury and Sarah Fine. This one is the new one. I got this one because the color is really pretty. And it's like seems futuristic so I'm gonna give it a shot and moving on down here we have my Cassandra Clare collection because her books are huge and there's so many of them so we've got uh, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Angel, over here, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. And in here we have the Shadow Hunters Codex. And like I said, that's all by Cassandra Clare. I have I actually haven't even read the Shadow Hunters Codex yet. I've just, I looked at the pictures, but I haven't read it yet. But anyway, I've read all of her books. All of them. Uh I still need to get her one, the Magnus Bane chronicles or something like that I need to get that one and i will read her next series because i love her books next over here we have project kane by geoffrey gerard and i really like that one that one's really good then over here starting at the bottom we have hush hush and crescendo by becca fitzpatrick uh, i've read hush hush i have to read a crescendo and that will happen soon uh, here we have If I Stay by Gail Foreman, which was alright. Here we have A Work in Progress by Connor Franta, which I actually just finished today. Uh, book review on that one coming next week. Then here, hiding, is Berserk by Michael Grant. I really need to continue in this series, but I just haven't. This is A Thousand Pieces of You by Someone Gray. <laughs> Uh, I'll put her, I think it's a her, put her name in the bottom here too. Uh, then we have my John Green collection. We have Abundance of Catherine's, Fault in Our Stars, Looking for Alaska, Paper Towns, and Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which is also co-written by David Leviathan, 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 however you pronounce it. So that's my John Green collection. I have read all of these. And then hiding up here is These Broken Stars by, also by two others, I'm gonna get that right, Amy Kaufman and, oops, Megan Spooner. This one's by. Um, once again, I bought this one because it's super pretty and futuristic, so. Okay, so that is my one bookshelf. And now on to my other one. All right, over here on my second bookshelf, let's just do, well, it's all my art stuff, but then down there. Okay, so for starting on this shelf, my closet is making a shadow. For starting on this shelf, this is just all my movies that I have. Also, alphabetical. I'm a nerd. Uh, we have Season 1 of Arrow, we have Big Hero 6 and the Big Hero 6 bonus pack, we have Carrie, Chronicle, The Colony, The Darkest Hour, The Fault in Our Stars, The First Time, Gardens of the Galaxy, The Host, How to Train Your Dragon 1 and 2, The Hunger Games, and then Catching Fire, and then Mockingjay, I Am Number 4, uh, The Maze Runner, Paranormal Activity 4, Pineapple Express, Red Dawn, Smallville Season 1 and 2, Supernatural Season 1 to 7, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teen Wolf Season 1 to 4, I meant 3, B, oh I don't have Season 4 yet, what? It's not online yet. Uh, Transformers 4, Tristan and Isolde, uh, The Vampire's Assistant, Season 1 of The Vampire Diaries, Warm Bodies, X-Men First Class and X-Men Days of Future Past, and then we have my little cheap wizard wand that I got from Wisconsin to play like a wizard game. I don't know. Don't ask. Anyways, over here is my second shelf, and we have my little 
jar with a firefly in it. it if you tap the lid, it used to like go around, but I think the battery's dead. Anyways, over here, back to books. We have Crank by Ellen Hopkins. We have The Iron King, The Iron Daughter, and The Iron Queen by Julie Kagawa. And I am hoping for this year to finish this series. I've read all of them. I just need the fourth and final book. So I'm really hoping I finish that one by this year. Then we have Fallen by Lauren Kate and Infinity, which I haven't read yet. Then we have Infinity and Invincible. I've read Infinity, but I haven't read Invincible by, hmm, I wonder who, Sherilyn Kenyon. And then over here we have Carrie by Stephen King and The Giver by Lois Lowry. Over here we have Under the Dome by Stephen King and I'm not ready to pick that one up yet because it is huge. Uh, here we have Legend by Mary Lou which I'm really excited to read and I haven't picked up yet. Then over here we have I Am Number 4, The Power of 6, The Rise of 9, The Fall of 5, and The Revenge of 7 by uh Pitticus lore Pitticus lore sorry and then we have throne of glass by sarah j mass and i'm really excited to read that one and the cover is beautiful then we have rotten ruin by jonathan maberry and i got to like chapter 12 of that one but then i stopped but i, w I will pick it up again then we have The Host by Stephanie Meyer, and then we have The 100 by Cass Morgan. I absolutely love the show, so I'm super excited to read those books. And then putting that back, over here is my next shelf, and we got like two, we got old snow globe from when I was little, and we have this thing, I don't know what it is. Down here we have... A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. I have read this one, this one, and I'm halfway through that one, but I stopped reading because it's huge. And I gotta, I'll, I will finish this this year, promise. Uh, over here we have Ashfall by Mike Mullen, which was very good. Then we have Aragon by... Christopher Paolini, Paolini, however you say his name. Uh, then we have The Book of Luke by Jenny O'Connell, which I haven't read yet, and I've had it for like four years. Uh, then we have Eldis by Christopher Paolini, which is the second book to Aragon. Over here we have Maximum Ride, The Angel Experiment by James Patterson. Then we have Remember Me by Christopher Pike, which I really like. We have the Titan's Curse graphic novel. And then we have my prized Percy, J Ow. Percy Jackson series. Uh, the Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters, Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, Last Olympian, Lost Hero, Son of Neptune, it continues on the other shelf, by Rick Wright Orton. And then just up here we have Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And this one is a new book and I'm really excited to read it. Uh, over here we have the Percy Jackson Greek Gods, oh, and it just opened, yeah, Greek Gods by Rick Wright Orton, and I actually got a signed copy, and this isn't going back in here. Ready, let's go. Oh, I don't want to break it. Ugh, okay, there we go. And this is actually a signed copy, so that's really exciting for me. And then continuing the Percy Jackson series, we have The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus. Uh, here we have Fangirl, also by Rainbow Rowell. A uh, Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. Uh, Schizo by Nick Sheff, which I'm super excited to read. And then we have The Vampire Diaries, The Awakening, and The Struggle, and... The Fury and Dirk Reunion by L.J. Smith. Oh, frog guy. That I forgot to mention. Uh, I have read both of those. And that's really all I have to say about them. They're alright, I guess. Then we have The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves. The Dream Thieves, which is part of a series. I don't know, the third book's already out and I haven't gotten it yet. Ugh. 
and then Shiver, which I haven't finished, but I will, by Maggie Stifader. And then over here, let's start up here, we have Ink and Rain by Amanda Sun. I just bought Rain, and I'm super excited to read it because Ink was amazing. And then we have Ashes, Ashes by Joe Tregiari, which I started reading, but again, I never finished, but I eventually will. Then we have Leviathan. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we have Leviathan. Then Uglies, Pretties, Specials, Extras, and Afterworlds, all by Scott Westerfeld. Uh, I have read these three. I haven't read this one, this one, or that one yet, but I will pick it up. And then finally, last but certainly not least, we have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And that is my bookshelf. And that is it for my bookshelf tour. I'm sorry that this video kind of went on and on, but anyway, so tomorrow I will be doing a art related video for sure. Next week on my book related video day, I will be doing a book review on a work in progress by Connor Franta because I just finished it today. And then next art related video I will talk about tomorrow. So anyways, um, so thank you guys for bearing with me and please comment what you thought on this video and please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Thursday and I am Aridania and thank you for watching.